I'm a bastard bloke, we got tropical pineapple chocolate Blood up to evil bass as a jackalope You want a half a coat with a cast of boat Yeah, I got chronic, I want half a tote Go ahead, rookie, call your plastic boat Chase the habits fast for you, grab a smoke Confess, no joke, more like all she wrote Drop the beat, pause a note Jasper's here, well that's awesome dope I'm Only here to tell you that it's all a hoax Unlike Mach 1, lots of guns, so lots of fun Probably at a strip club, not spinning a one Wanna play a game, well this is how it's done Creativity is our only freedom we can't dream schemes if we can't have a people 2013 and catch me on the weekends Licker for somebody to see my teeth in Need to eat the flesh Cannibalistic priest if easy mess You be stay fresh I'm from Little Rock where the river divides Loyalty seems so hard to come by Cause river is coincide Another guy decides on homicide Kids get high on both sides I'll let my head inside Reconsider my design Shots of liquor provide a way to find lies From in between Glassy cat eyes Thighs I despise you guys I got a repetitive set of fists That'll settle this Setting my hands on a set of tits Made us like a set of it. You know that I'm better kid, taste my pair of cakes, they're too delicious I got a jackal inside my brain It makes me laugh when it calls you names I think it's all fake, I think it's all vaccines I think it all ain't, it's just a bad dream It's just a bad dream license and I'll tell you why okay this is not a debate okay you know why you're getting pulled over okay I'm Corporal George Inc. okay I'm Corporal George Inc. in the state police the reason I stopped is you're racing out of the car okay that's why I'm stopping you my car just sounds low well I was watching you okay I I'm still racing the car dude okay I know it's okay because I saw it okay okay do you have your insurance with you is there any way you can look it up okay do you have your insurance with you you have to provide insurance. So how is the little one in back? Six? Okay. So you're racing a car with a six-year-old in the back seat. Okay. Well, you know that's child endangerment, correct? How long have you been a lawyer? you been a lawyer? 25 years. How long have you been alive? Okay, you step out and come talk to me.
Put your phone down right there. Uh, put your uh, phone down. I'm gonna put my camera on. No, you're not gonna put your phone down. Put your phone down and listen to me. Okay? Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm allowed to record my No, you're not. Okay? You're about to get in a heap of trouble. Get in the car now. Trouble for what? Get in the car. Uh, it's okay. Just get in the car. Record me all you want, out. but get in the car. Put your phone out. And yeah. close the door. Yeah. <laughs> close the door. Wow, this is crazy. It's really crazy. Now, <laughs> put your hands up there and listen to me. Separate your feet. Separate your feet further. Separate your feet further. Okay. Now do not move. You understand me? Do you understand me? Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Now let's walk back to my car and leave your phone there. Okay? I'll leave your phone there. Back here. She gets out of that car, she's gonna go to jail. I'm just telling you straight up. Have a seat. Uh, oh. I'm telling you right now, if you get out of this car, you can okay. go to jail. Okay? Okay. This will go as smooth or as difficult as you want it. Sorry about that. You're sorry now. Why are you sorry now? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I feel like you're accusing me. You're picking on me because you're racing the car with a six-year-old kid in the car? Are you kidding me? I don't know. I'm not going to say nothing. Just do your job. I understand. So got one detained. He was being defiant. Female in the vehicle was wanting to record me and get out of the car. He also has a six year old child in the car. <laughs> Can you give me the time to stop? Ten four. Is that your kid? Yes, sir. The Supreme Court says we have a right to control all occupants, all movement of the vehicle, okay? The reason I got you out of the car is because you're wanting to argue with me. So that's why I got you out to take away your audience, okay? If you had been respectful from the whole get-go, we wouldn't be here, okay? You're either contemplating running for me or you're getting your kid seatbelted. No, I was just trying to, I was already, I didn't want to stop right there at the ramp. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you, it took a long, 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 long time. Uh, I so really you're either didn't. contemplating on running from me, assaulting me, or trying to get your kid into a car, okay? No. I've been doing, well, I'm just telling you, mm -hmm. I've been, you asked me how long I've been doing this, it's 25 years. And how old are you? I'm 26. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, I have a little bit of background. I know when red flags are going up and all the red flags are going off, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here. No, yeah, that's why, I mean, I just, honestly, no, I was just trying to park here. I wasn't trying to get away from you. I, I would never do that. That would be dumb. Okay. Why were you racing that other car? Honestly, I put a, he was, well, he, I wasn't racing him. All he did was rev it, so I, like, I put mine on neutral and revved it, too, right beside him. 
So maybe on your point of view, it looked like that Bowser was racing. There was nowhere to race. There was cars everywhere. No, I know. There's it's... nothing to race. There's there was cars in front of me, in front of me. You guys were both accelerating really hard, and you're side by side doing this number. I call that racing. It was. I mean, we were going like 40, 45. I mean, I think the speed limit was 50 there. What's the? What's your phone? I don't, I, I don't go like I don't. I had this car for a long time, and I don't. Honestly, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't know you were state police. What difference does it make? I know it doesn't make a difference, but I know state police are more. Do what? More respected. I haven't pulled over, been put over in like years. Jose, is that correct? Yes, sir. Is that what you go by? Yes, sir. So right now you've got the opportunity to ask me any question, okay? As long as you're respectful, I'll answer anything that I can answer you, okay? Because right now, a lot of what what I determine to do is going to depend on your attitude. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. Okay. Do you understand that I could write you for reckless driving and, ra and racing? It doesn't even matter that you're not doing 100 miles an hour on the interstate. You're in a congested area. Run side by side with another car, stomping on the gas with me sitting there watching the whole thing, and you got a six-year-old kid in that car. If I do reckless driving or racing, those are going to carry a child endangerment charge, which means DHS is going to be knocking on your door, okay? Which means you're going to go to jail. I understand. Then give me one good reason since we got the holidays coming up. Thanksgiving, Christmas, give me one good reason to make me believe this is just a oops, you're having a bad day and not the norm. I am having a bad day, I really am. I'm late to my son's therapy. Um, that car, people always give me a sire, oh, no, not use, people always give me crap with my car. <clears throat> and I've never, I mean, I've had this car for a long time, and I've never gone for over and um, you know, cops over, oh, cops always, they, they know my car here, the police, Rogers police, they know my car, they know I'm not a hot rod, I don't do crazy stuff with it and everything, but, I don't know, today was just one of those days, I don't really have a, I don't know, I know I'm not supposed to be loud with it and stuff, but, that guy just, you know I got the other guy's information on video. No, I so you don't you don't know him? Mm -hmm. When I go talk to him, he's gonna say he doesn't know you. You don't have anything showing here since 2016, so looks like you've done some growing up. No, I'm definitely growing up.
what I'm gonna do is go with careless driving. Careless is right. Or reckless driving's up here. Racing is up here. Careless driving's down here. Okay. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. But if I ever catch you doing this again and you treat me this way, I promise you're gonna go to jail. Okay. Sound like a is that a deal? Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, when you start that anti-police crap, shoving in cameras and stuff, you do not have a right to record me. If I tell you to put something down, you put it down. Okay. You can say you can argue that in court. But out here, what happens is you do that and somebody's gonna get we're gonna go to the ground, we're gonna fight because you don't have that right. Okay. I don't care what you've been told or what kind of stuff you've seen on YouTube. I have a right by the Supreme Court it says I can control all movements of everybody in that car. I do not let people get out of the car with something in their hands. Why do you think that would be? That would be dangerous for you. Yeah, because I don't know if it's a gun or if you're going to use it as a weapon against me. If she can sit in there in that car and record, that's fine, but you do it from a safe environment. you got to do what we tell you to do. Okay? And if you disagree with that, it's America. That's fine. But the place not to, to disagree is not here. It's in court for okay. everybody's safety. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I understand that people aren't always going to agree with us, but it's the right way and a wrong way. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's, I mean, like I said, I'm not a lawyer. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. That really goes a long way with me. Ten four, thank you. CFS comments added. All right, Jose, I'm going to set your court date for after the holidays, okay? Okay. And like I said, it's not a reckless driving charge, it's not a racing charge. All right, it's just a careless prohibited driving charge, okay? okay? If you do you understand the difference? Yes. Okay. Okay. If somebody comes up and wants to race you, let them get in trouble, man. Don't don't react. Especially with a kid in the car, okay? I'm not gonna write you a ticket, but what took you so long? Were you getting him seat belted? No, I really just, I didn't want to stop at the ramp. I just trying to find a spot to stop, but I don't want to stop right there right on the exit. Or, I don't want to stop. I was just waiting for the shoulder to get wider. And that's okay. part more to the grass, so you could come up and use. I was doing it for your safety, but. I appreciate that. That, that makes me feel better. I want you to think from my perspective what it looked like is that is that you're getting ready to run because when I when I turned my lights on you accelerated you'd not slow down. Oh, yeah, well, I was yeah, I was going this way anyway. So. 
Uh, this is my route. So obviously, and I'm just going to explain it. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to sh put you in my shoes for a minute, okay? It looks like you're going to run from me. And usually when people run from me, they're not as scared to assault me. So you can see how it can escalate really quick, yeah. right? Okay. And when I pat you down, that doesn't mean you're under arrest. That means I'm making sure you don't have any weapons that's going to hurt me, okay? And again, the reason the phone thing, I'm just going to explain that again. I don't want anything in somebody's hands when I'm doing that, okay? okay. Recording somebody is perfectly legal, legal, but when you're outside your car and the officer's telling you to put your hands, you know, where I can see them and put stuff down, you have to put stuff down, okay? okay? Does that make sense? I mean, honestly, it doesn't make sense because I don't, don't want to leave you confused, all right? No, no. So, to my knowledge, I don't even know if this is a mandatory court date for careless driving, which means you might be able to take care of it on the phone without appearing. But what you would do is call this number right here before uh, January 17th. Okay. Um, if you don't do that, you would need to do an appearance on January 17th at 9 a.m. at this address, which is going to be the, the Rogers Police Department. Okay. But if you have any questions, get a hold of those folks, okay? Thank you, you, sorry about the disrespect. Hey, man, I, people, people don't tell me I'm sorry a lot, and I, I, that, I mean it when I say that. It goes along with me. If, if it had gone this way from the get-go, it would have never got this far, man. No, I'm sorry. And thank you for your service. All right, man. I appreciate it. You have a good one. Twenty seven will be ninety eight. 